Here are the three things you can do for the total lunar eclipse in Taurus on November 8th. Number one, vote. The lunar eclipse is happening on the midterm elections. A lot of us feel disenfranchised and not properly represented by our governing body. But we must have hope and we must put that hope into action. In a country's chart, the moon represents the people and the moon is conjunct Uranus, which is the planet of change, rebellion, revolution, and liberation. Now, I can't tell you who to vote for, even though I make my political stances very clear, but I would ask myself, who is encouraging separation and fear? Number two, detox, and let me explain. We manifest through our emotions, our vibration, and what we focus on, what we pay attention to. So you want to make sure that what you're feeding yourself the North Node being ruled by Taurus, which quite literally represents food and also our mouth and our throat. And Scorpio, the opposite sign, which is where the South Node is, represents our reproductive organs and also our elimination system. On a practical level, you want to eat foods that keep you nourished and help you feel grounded. What are you watching? What kind of media are you watching and consuming? Because they might have an effect on your mental health. And number three, lean into the dark feminine. Eclipses are a chaotic time and there is a time and place for inviting in chaos energy because birth happens in chaos and the dark feminine. This is a total lunar eclipse, so a lot of your fears might be coming up to the surface. And I would lean into them. I would really go towards your fears because what you resist persists, what you fight you feed. And as always, transits are temporary. This is temporary. Things will get better.